What's up guys? It's Colin Coates from Built to Wander. Today I'm out in Sand Hollow with the Samuel LJ for the annual Trail Hero event. Haven't wheeled this Jeep since the Rubicon Trail a couple months back and have been itching to get it out. Wanted to see how well it would do in the dunes and in the rocks since we really haven't had a chance to hit any of those go fast sections. So we're gonna kind of fill you in on what we're up to over the next couple days, plan to hit some trails and kind of feel out the best of both worlds. Like I said, we've got the dunes out here where we can really rip and then we've got some of the best crawling that the uh, Southwest Utah region has to offer. So before we do that, do me a quick favor, like this video, subscribe to Driving Line channel, and let's get after it. So we made it out to Sand Hollow yesterday. Phil Long Ford of Denver hooked us up again with a 2022 F350 Platinum, and we towed the Samuel LJ all the way out from Denver. That truck made the drive such a breeze, and we're so grateful for their continued support. Once we got into town, we linked up with Rock Jock. They're gonna be hosting us for the next couple days while we're out here. So we're super stoked to hang out with them, hit a bunch of trails, and really enjoy all that Sand Hollow has to offer. Day one, we got into town. We did a quick shakedown run with Rock Jock and Curry Enterprises. Uh, we went and hit Double Sammy, which is kind of one of my favorite trails out here. It's got the chute and some beautiful uh, views of the lake there in San Hollow. And so the LJ did great. And the plan for the rest of the week is to just hit a mix of trails, bomb out here in the dunes, see how that uh, new trailing arm suspension works at higher speeds, and uh, just soak up all that the Trail Hero event has to offer. So super stoked for all the fun that we're about to have. I'm filming my Jeep <laughs> in the air. <laughs> All right, so we're literally on top of dunes right now. Uh, you can see some rigs going by us. And we thought we were gonna go play around in the dunes, rip around doing some high speed stuff and the rear transfer case lever linkage literally disconnected from the transfer case so we're stuck in four low and we have no ability to put it in four high and romp like we wanted to uh, unless we pull some things apart and force it into four high so maybe we'll do that tomorrow for now i think we're going to shift our plans head out to top of the world and go do some rock crawling so we'll see but uh we're gonna make the most of it All right, now we're starting to have some fun. I was definitely frustrated this morning with the whole transfer case issue. Uh, we did make it up to top of the world though. It stressed the motor out. It was getting really hot since we were in four low. But now we're on plan B. It's a seven rated trail. We just got through the first couple obstacles there and uh, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. So should be a great time and uh, I'm excited to see what all this trail has to offer.
sure. <laughs> Did it just stop? Uh, it didn't really want to go anywhere. Mine's kind of hot too, I think. It didn't look, it wasn't as hot as it had been though. Back at the event center with the LJ. I think we're gonna park it here for the night, and take the uh, truck back to the house because it's stuck in four low, like I said, and it's just overheating coming out of the sand dune. So, but plan B was a blast. The Jeep does great at crawling. It stayed cool during that time. So I think we're gonna have to stick with the rocks, but overall awesome day despite the challenges we had and uh, definitely stoked for the fun we're gonna have tonight and then some more trails tomorrow. All right, day three out here in San Hollow for Trail Hero. Got uh, three of the Rock Jock rigs behind me. John Curry's in his JL, equipped with the 40 inch Nitto Tire Trail Grappler. His daughter Amanda's got her JL on a 38 inch Ridge Grappler. And Brandon's behind her in his JT Gladiator on the 42 inch Trail Grappler. So all three of those vehicles are equipped extremely well for this terrain and I love that they're on different size tires and kind of unique setups to each of them. So I decided to run with Rock Jock today. We left the LJ behind at the vendor show, put it in Rock Jock's booth for the day. We had some issues with it yesterday. It's still stuck in four low. So I figured instead of uh, bringing it out here and having potential heating issues or other things that could go wrong, just hop in with a friend and enjoy the trail. Still having a blast. And uh, we're finishing the second half of plan B. We kind of cut off the trail earlier yesterday. So we're rocking that, got John behind me now. And I'm hiking, getting a workout in. It's gonna be a great day out here in San Hollow. down? Maybe. Guys, thanks for joining us for another Built to Wander adventure. We just made it back home from San Hollow in the F-350 Platinum that Phil Long Ford of Denver loaned us for the trip. We towed the Samuel LJ all the way out and back, had zero issues. The truck was just com so comfortable and made for a great trip. Despite the small issues we had with the Samuel LJ, we still had a blast out at Trail Hero. It's such a great event. They've got concerts, they've got a great vendor show, tons of fun trails to hit. And fortunately, the crew at Rock Jock 4x4 just showed awesome hospitality. They hosted us all week and allowed us to hop in in their Jeeps when ours wasn't running so hot. So super grateful for that. Drop me a comment below. Let us know if you have any questions on our trip, 
on the event or any of the trails we hit. And as always, hit the like button if you did and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, wander on. Thanks for watching Driving Line. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing to our channel so you'll never miss any of the content we create here. Whether you're into trucks, Jeeps, imports, domestic vehicles, or anything in between, we are here to fuel your passion. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.